The Well is one of the oldest virtual communities in continuous operation. Launched in February of 1985 out of California, it's one of the earliest online social networks. The Well Group Incorporated was actually owned by Salon Media Group at one point, but the Well was bought back by the Well Group, which I think is really cool. Members are not anonymous, and they have a supportive community made up of a unique group of individuals who prize genuineness, high-quality conversations, and diverse ideas. Best of all, no ads, but you do have to pay. The cheapest plan is around $6.95 for up to three months, and that was on November 7th. If you're like me, you learn in a variety of ways. I love to sit somewhere quiet and read. I also enjoy learning from workshops or classes. I also work extremely well with hands-on examples. I like to listen to podcasts and instructional audio. These PHP study tutorial videos and notes come from months of studying for me using the beginner PHP 5.3 book by Matt Doyle. I chose this book because it's one of the most up-to-date, thorough, and easy to understand PHP tutorial books out there. Creating these videos from my notes has been a fun and useful way for me to both learn and teach at the same time. Learning by teaching, as my Ruby on Rails instructor used to say, is most effective. And think about it, do you really understand something if you yourself can't explain it well? These videos consist of both web, and computer science history, as well as PHP notes, for a couple of reasons. It's good to have a firm foundation into the field you're entering by learning about the forerunners of web and computer science innovation. Also, it breaks up the tutorials by my adding some interesting and random factoids that I know you'll also find interesting. I label these sections past and present for clarity. Later on, I'm actually going to share my future goals for this project to inspire you as well as to force me to follow through with them. Now, if you're coming from one programming language to PHP, awesome. If you're not, doubly awesome because you're new to programming then. I would suggest reading at least one Introduction to Computer Science book through and through, or follow an online Intro to Computer Science course. There are a lot of free ones out there. You'll familiarize yourself with computer science terminology that you will come across in PHP literature. It is a programming language after all, and it's not just used for web application development. It's all relational. Ha ha ha. Not sure if that joke was effective. But anyway, any programmer, new or not, must be prepared to be a lifelong learner. A programmer who's worth their salt will always attend conferences, listen to podcasts, follow programming blogs, go to classes, or go back to school even, depending on their focus of study or their goal. One thing about going back to school, or going to school for the first time for this work is that sometimes classes are just not enough. You need to utilize means only available through earning a computer science degree. I myself plan on going back to school for a degree in computer science. I will mention throughout this project some helpful but not required tools that will make your developing process much easier. One item is a large whiteboard to create diagrams and be able to let ever-changing ideas flow out of you by visually jotting them down and seeing how each idea is linked to the next. Do some research on storyboards especially if you're planning on doing front-end development and you have to present your vision clearly. Also look into tried and true flowcharts. They've been around for quite a while and still to this day prove to be very useful. Tools like these are not necessarily for beginners, but for folks like me who are familiar with creating applications, but needs lots of practice and efficiency and time-saving practices. Working in pair programming or just studying with others in a pair or a team, use TeamViewer at teamviewer.com. The future. I currently have my own budding freelance web design and development business. I've been in business for around two years in web design, but I'm now branching out into web development, learning PHP and other programming languages for server-side development. My skill set is made up of years of experience in many different 
uh, languages, frameworks, and databases, including PHP 5, Ruby, and Ruby on Rails, MySQL, CSS 2 and 3, HTML 5, etc. My confidence level is not high enough, unfortunately, in PHP and Ruby on Rails and Ruby, and I'm willing to revamp my knowledge base to strengthen this. Building my portfolio, learning vital techniques in search engine optimization, e-commerce and internet security, and creating and maintaining a sizable clientele are my main goals. I'm currently a member of various online communities, including the W3 Consortium, PHP Women, and Ruby Newbie. And I want to contribute back to them as they have to me. I plan on going for my PHP 5.3 and Zen certification by the end of this year, as well as having a sizable portfolio of works I'm very proud of. Thank you for listening to this video, and I really appreciate your time. Um, I would also appreciate any feedback that you can offer. And yeah, that's it. Okay, have a good one.